Welcome back. So today I'm taking a look at a minimalist wallet that takes inspiration from Batman. It's the Get Set Gear Bruce Minimalist Wallet. Let's check it out. The Get Set Gear Bruce Minimalist Wallet is a vertical flap style wallet with one internal card pocket, a dedicated cash compartment, on the inside and on the outside, there's a quick access card slot. It can hold up a nine cards and five bills and everything is held securely with the flap right here and that flap is tucked into a leather strap right there that acts as a tuck closure. It's available in three different colors, natural, black, and the color that I have right here, whiskey. It's all handmade from Botero vegetable tan full grain leather from the Canseria Walpier Tannery in Italy. And the stitching here is all hand saddle stitch and they use Ritza Tiger Thread right there. I'll give you a nice close up of that stitching. Oh, can't see it there, <laughs> but you can see it right there. Everything looks pretty darn good. And this being the very first wallet that I bought from Get Set Gear, I wasn't really sure what to expect. This was actually a recommendation from one of you guys on a video, on another wallet video. So I decided to pick it up and I was actually pretty impressed with the quality here. As I already mentioned, they use Botero vegetable tan full grain leather, which I absolutely love. Ritz of Tiger thread, which is very, very high quality, hand saddle stitched, no machine stitching here. So I love to see that when I buy a leather wallet. And since I wasn't familiar with this company, I had to take a closer look at all of the cuts that they did here and everything looks pretty good. Nice straight, clean cuts here, very angular. You can see this is a very angular wallet. There's really no curves at all. Everything is just cut straight, angle straight. You can see that right there, even on the bottom here, just another angle cut. Overall, I really like the styling of the Bruce Minimalist wallet. And when I was buying this, I didn't read the description close enough because I actually didn't know that this was inspired by Bruce Wayne as Batman. After I received this, I went back and read the description online and I took a closer look at it and I just didn't see the connection between Bruce Wayne and Batman with this wallet until I took a closer look at this front pocket right there. And if you look at that, you can definitely see the Batman inspiration right there with the ears and the very angular cuts. Yeah, it sort of does look like Batman. And if I would have known that, I probably would have went with the black version over this whiskey version because yeah, this would have been Batman's wallet. I'm Batman. So let's dive deeper into the styling here. So we have a front pocket right here that can hold between five to seven credit cards, a dedicated cash compartment right here where you can fold your bills in half or you can just leave them unfolded and just fold it over the top and tuck into the tuck closure. And then on the back, there's a quick access card slot right here that can hold two more credit cards. As always, I only recommend putting one card in a quick access card slot just because if you start stacking cards back here and it's your most used card, you're taking it in and out all the time, you're just gonna start scratching up your cards. So put one card back here and the rest of them try to fit in this pocket right there. For me, I carry seven total cards on a daily basis, so this handled my cards absolutely perfectly. Also, when ordering, you have the option to get a left side opening cash compartment or a right side opening cash compartment. With almost every single wallet that I own that has a cash compartment that opens up like this, it's always on the right hand side, and I'm not really sure why I ordered the left side version, but I did, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I'm way more used to having this cash compartment here on the right side. So open it up, open it from this side. It's not terrible for me, it's completely my fault. I ordered the wrong version, but when I was carrying this, getting ready for this review, I sort of got used to it. But regardless, if you guys are ordering this wallet, don't have a brain fart like I did. And when you're looking at the wallet, it's literally, do you want it to open on the left side or do you want it to open on the right side? Now let's take a look at the burnishing. So what I really like about the Bruce Minimalist wallet is yeah, they took care of all the burnishing here, but every single pocket, even on the tuck closure strap right here, that's all nicely burnished and polished. So I really like the fact that they took care of every single edge on this wallet. And the only branding that I see on this wallet is right there on the back of the wallet on the bottom, you can see the Get Set Gear logo. So very minimal branding. Very nice. So now let's take a look at these cutouts here. So I really like these cutouts right here. Yes, they are very angular, as I was mentioning earlier, because this top piece of leather sort of looks like Batman. But I like the fact that Get Set Gear gave us two cutouts right here. 
Rarely do you see a cutout there in the front. Usually this is just straight across and kind of fumble getting your cards out. But here it makes it very easy to get your cards out once they're inside. So I like that they gave us a double cutout right there. The design is very well thought out. All right, let's talk dimensions. Nowhere on the website did I see what the dimensions were of the Bruce Minimalist wallet. So I measured this wallet at three and three sixteenths by three and seven eighths. And according to my weight test, it comes in at 1.1 ounces. That's 30 grams. And I also measured the weight of the leather. So I measured it at 1.32 millimeters. So 1.32 millimeters gives us just a little bit over a three ounce leather. Now let's do the card test here. So they say between five to seven cards in this front pocket, I'm just gonna stick all seven cards, all seven flat cards in there. And I was carrying six in this. And you can see it definitely handles seven cards with no problem. Tucking it in, it's just a little bit tight because like I said, I wasn't really carrying seven cards in this wallet, at least in the middle section there. But regardless, that is seven in the main card compartment. And then let's get one in the quick access card pocket on the back. That's eight. And you guys know I love quick access card pockets on my wallets. It makes the wallet very functional. And what I was saying earlier, just with the addition of that second cutout right there in the back, if you wanna grab any card out of the middle here, you can see, you can grab these cards very easy just by the simple addition of a second cutout right there in the back. Now I keep going back to this because you rarely see a second cutout. Usually there's just a cutout there in the front and nothing there in the back. So you have to dig your finger in there to get your cards out, which isn't a huge deal. You can still get them, but it's just so much more functional with two cutouts. Now, if you're a cash carrier, I have five American dollar bills right here. So with the design of the Bruce minimalist wallet here. So you can either leave your cash unfolded like this and just tuck it into the tuck closure as so. I'm not a big fan of this. I don't like my bills flopping all around. And I do get some comments from you guys saying, oh, that's not a big deal. Just hold your thumb like this. Yes, I understand that. I don't really carry cash. I only carry cash for emergencies, maybe one larger bill. So in that situation, I don't wanna have to do this. For someone like me, I would much rather just fold my bills in half and then neatly tuck them away behind those cards. And you can see that works absolutely perfectly. But the nice thing here is you have the choice, either unfolded or folded in half. And once you have the flap all nicely tucked in, you still have access to those bills. Just give the wallet a little squeeze. You don't have to Open the wallet to get access to your bills and you can see you can put them right back in pretty easily. So the functionality here of the Bruce Minimalist wallet is fantastic. I like that they use Botero vegetable tan full grain leather here. I like that it's hand saddle stitched with Ritza Tiger Thread. I think the design here is fantastic, especially with this dedicated cash compartment where you can leave your bills folded in half or unfolded. I like that they gave us two cutouts right here for the card compartment and the addition of a quick access card slot on the back. I just wouldn't recommend putting two cards in there, even though you could. The quality and craftsmanship here is top notch. All the cuts look fantastic. Everything is burnished and the design here where Get Set Gear made this look like Batman in the front. It's pretty unique. I'm Batman. Like I said, I wish I would have went with the black color if I would have realized that. So now that you guys know, go with the black. Also, I couldn't find anything about warranty on their website. So if anybody from Get Set Gear is watching this, let me know in the comments of this video what the warranty is on this wallet. So now let's talk about the price. I paid $59.99 for this wallet, basically 60 bucks. With the quality of leather, the quality of the stitching all handmade for 60 bucks, I think that is a fantastic deal. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the Bruce Minimalist wallet from Get Set Gear? Now, if you wanna check it out for yourself, I will put links down below in my description box. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. I'm Batman.